her in trouble either way, okay? If she comes in and sees me locked to this instead of the chair, she's gonna know you were in here. So you might as well just let me go. Chair? Yeah. I thought I broke Joey's chair. That's why I replaced it with mine. Oh, that. Yeah. You can hook it up to your TV and you get radio. <laughs> My chair heals itself. <laughs> All right, so Earl, let's just forget about the people at the office, okay? There, there's got to be someone else in your life that's worth sticking around. Changes? Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to move around some furniture to make room for my chair. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're going to bring the Barker Lounge over here? In English vocabulary, we will learn the word chair. It means a seat, especially for one person usually having four legs for support and a rest for the back and often having rests for the arms. Also means something that serves as a chair or supports like a chair. The two men clasped hands to make a chair for their injured companion. Pay attention to the pronunciation. The first one is the word represented using the international phonetic alphabet. To pronounce chair have in mind that the size of the syllable indicates where the accent or stress is. In this case, the accent is in the first syllable, corresponding to chair. Below are other ways to pronounce it. Now, let's see how chair is used in real life. I'm getting my chair back. What? Hey, I want to sit in my chair. <laughs> All right, fine. You know what? We'll both sit in the chair. Fine with me. No. Oh. I am so psyched. I kept this chair for myself. Because the last time I went skiing, I was too afraid to jump off the chair. I just went round and round. At least you won't have to live with this ugly chair. Yeah, I thought I broke Joey's chair. Oh, God. You've totally messed with the back support on my chair. Although I did sit down where there wasn't a chair. <laughs> All right, you can have the chair. Take the test at accent101.com to find out si sabes inglés o hablas inglés.